the likelihood of a car accident is 21 times when you text and drive. Most teenagers think that, um, you know, the parents are complete idiots, and so is the, the laws, because it's so easy to text and drive, and they can do it safely. Um, and the technology exists to actually uh, solve this. I mean, uh, we know if you're driving, because the motion on your phone is faster from the GPS, and uh, it's not rocket science. Apps exist, actually, to prevent this. Apps exist to automatically respond to people that you're driving and let them know when return to them when you're done. I mean, there's, there's no technology barrier to actually solving this thing that is very um, dangerous. So if you think about a digital nudge unit, um, think about people coming to the DMV. Do you call it the DMV in Canada or something? You get the idea. Where you get your driving license, registration, and all those kind of things. Um, people come to the DMV and there's often a line. And people hate that. And when we have everybody talk about the government being inefficient and, you know, we view, we view the interaction between the government and the citizens as a very bad thing, a waste of time, lines in the hospitals, lines in the emergency room, lines at the DMV, um, and so on. Well, <clears throat> what if we think about it for a second uh, through the lenses of the 21st century? We get the attention of people and we view it as an asset. Attention is very rare nowadays. And if you think about people in the line at the DMV, it's a very valuable asset. I got their attention for the next few uh, minutes. Just to give you a flavor of the price of attention, in the old days, travel agents charged hotels 10% when they booked a room. They did a lot of work. They called the hotel. They knew you personally, your preferences. They had to really visit hotels and learn about hotels. Maybe they had a guide, like a book, in the old days with hotels. You would think that when Expedia books a room on your behalf, or Hotels.com, it would be a lot cheaper. Turns out Expedia takes about 30% of the revenues of the hotel. Every third night goes away. You know, how could that equilibrium be? Things should be more efficient. They should be more efficient, but people don't have attention anymore. There's so many demands on their attention. So what happens if you Google uh, hotels in Toronto, you're not going to see uh, the Hiltons, the Marriott's, the whatever at the top. You'll see Expedia and the other OTAs, online travel agencies. How it comes there at the top? Well, they pay a fortune to Google. So they will be at the top, so they'll get your attention. So they will book your room and they will get a third of the revenues of the hotels. It's an attention game. It's extremely valuable attention. <clears throat> I got the attention of people at the DMV. You want to be at the front of the line? Download an app that doesn't allow you to actually drive and text. Now, you see the other guy doing it, you're going to download it too. Very quickly, many people would download it, which is great. They're still going to have to be in line, but they all downloaded the app, and hopefully will make the road safer. So when you think about the digital nudge unit, it's not just about building apps. It's also about attention. It's about reaching people, making sure they use technologies.